What on earth are you doing now, Daddy? Here I am, back with part two of this two-part series, and this time I'm making the leather sheath for the Puko knife. This style of uh, knife sheath I've not made before, it's a Finnish um, style and uh, it requires a liner to go inside the uh, the leather sheath to uh, protect the sheath from the blade and to keep the, uh, the sheath stiff. And I'm building up a liner out of plastic and I'm using this plastic card which is styrene sheet and I'm welding pieces of this together. Um, using plastic weld it instantly welds it uh, and so what I'm really doing is forming a block a plastic block that fits around the blade really you could use wood or bark or whatever you've got available I just wanted to use this plastic and uh, I then took this out to my workshop and sanded it on the sanding machine very much like I did with the knife handle and uh, eventually you end up with the uh, with a liner like that. I've not made this style of sheath before um, so it's all new for me. Just putting some Vaseline on the uh, the blade and wrapping the handle in some cling film or saran wrap because we're going to do some wet moulding with leather and uh, it can cause the blade to rust and the handle to, uh, to damage. Soak in some veg tan leather um, in some water for a couple of minutes. I stamped my logo while it was wet. And I'm putting it on a soft piece of foam here and I'm wet moulding here. I'm moulding the leather around the handle of the knife. And I'm clamping it in place and using these little soft pads of foam uh, just so I don't mark the leather scoring a line here or burnishing a line ready for stitching using a pricking iron here just to mark out my stitching spacing and then an awl to go through from one side to the other be very careful when you're working with wet leather because it marks very easily cut your fingernails and be careful not to scratch or dent it here i'm starting the long job of saddle stitching two needle stitching going from each side and uh, what I'm doing is uh, just working my way back up to the top first so it's double stitched at the top and then sewing my way down and I'm working my way along removing the clamps and using the awl and my stitch marker but if you want to see a real master at these sort of sheaths then uh, you really need to check out my friend Osmo's channel his channel's called the Topicala and Osmo is in Finland and uh, he makes beautiful Finnish style sheaths. So check out his channel, I'll put links in the description. I'm working my way along now. Like I say, you've got to be very careful when the leather's wet not to damage it. So try and keep it on soft surfaces and don't dig your fingernails or tools into it. But, uh, try If you want to see a better video of mine with saddle stitching check out uh, my workshop stool video there it is all stitched up I'm very pleased with how that went and then I'm doing what's called a mystery braid here I think that's what people call it it's where you uh, have a single strip of leather um, and you actually can create a braid in the middle of it it's quite easy to do, it's not as complicated as it looks. Just uh, getting it ready, and there it is, and hammering it flat. And this is going to form a decorative piece around the top, like that. And I've clamped that in place. Then it's left overnight to dry, and it all sets in position, you see. And some contact adhesive in the seam. And I'm getting that right down into that seam. And then hammering the uh, the seam closed using a cobbler's hammer just wetting the neck of the sheath because it shrinks onto the knife handle and I just needed to ease it a little bit to get the uh, the knife out oil dye from Feebings I find oil dye is the best um, dye to use really you get a lot less trouble with oil dye several coats on uh, on this it always looks very dark when it first goes on but it will lighten 
there it is all died and here I'm just marking out some stitch holes that are going around the eyelet that the uh, belt loop the dangler belt loop is going to fix onto I'm stitching around that to make it stronger and uh, it's then a case of punching a hole through there it is Trimming up the seam using a very sharp one of my handmade knives. Being careful not to cut myself. And there it is. Trimmed and sanded a little bit as well the seam. And I'm using a number two edge beveler. Just taking off the uh, that sort of sharp edge it leaves on the leather. Just running down the side there and it gives the seam a, a, a better feel to it. it's then a case of dyeing the seam it does take quite a bit of dye there is some stuff called edge coat which uh, does the job better but i haven't got any of that and then i'm burnishing the seam i needed a brass loop to fix the uh, belt loop to the sheath but i didn't have any so i had to make my own and i'm doing this by heating up brass with a gas torch and wrapping it around this old uh, drill bit and you sort of heat it up and wrap it and heat it up and wrap it so it softens the brass and then cut along one side with a dremel and you end up with a whole load of split rings A good old yellow screwdriver out useful for all sorts of things but there you go you can see it makes a series of split rings that's one of them then after a bit of buffing on the buffing wheel you can see how they come up it's a case of threading it through the sheath i then had to go back out in the workshop and use the vice to close it the vice and a pair of pliers and but i was really pleased with how that came out now I'm making the belt loop. First of all I'm dyeing it. I would have used a slightly thicker leather if I'd had some. Uh, but uh, just threading that through the eyelet. I haven't got any brass rivets so I'm sewing this closed. There it is after sewing. Just hammering the stitching flush. Re-dyeing a bit. And then I re-dyed the whole sheath in places then it's Aussie leather conditioner I love this stuff it's brilliant for um, keeping leather supple helps proof it there you go all done well I've finished it um, long time since I've done a knife build um, and it's the first time I've ever done this sort of finish tile, style sheath where it's stitched up the back with no welt and I made, made the plastic liner um, it's not perfect um, I like everything to be perfect I'm a bit of a perfectionist but yeah I'm pleased with it um, the wood that Osmo sent me is amazing but it's a good snug fit you know that'll loosen up as well with time uh, there's the uh, there's the knife I don't know if you can see, it's just a tiny, tiny gap where the shoulders moved away from the bolster, which annoyed me. Really nice, stabilised, so the wood should uh, last well. Yeah, stabilised curly birch, and, and there's the sheath. With this style of sheath, you do have to be very careful about how you sheath them and you know, resheath them. Uh, yeah, lovely sunny day. It's been hammering down my rain, but uh, the sun's back out now. A bit bright. Yeah, but dangler style sheath. Made my own uh, brass rings because I'd run out. And the, uh, the ones I did have were D-rings, which were the wrong size, and they were didn't have the split in them either. There you go. I will do some more knife making in the future. Um, all done back soon with some more videos please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already done so many thanks for watching folks hope you enjoyed this uh, two-part series i certainly enjoyed doing a bit of knife making again there's something very satisfying about 
making knives and tools and things and uh, yeah thank you very much to all my subscribers it costs nothing to subscribe and if you hit the bell button you'll be notified when I put out more videos feel free to share the video it's, it all helps and give it a thumbs up and I'll be back soon with some more videos don't forget to check out my friend Osmo's uh, channel it's called the Topicala and he really is the master of the Puko knives he makes some beautiful knives and sheaths so check the uh, description of the video and there'll be a link there to his channel Please like, share and subscribe. My daddy needs all the help he can get. More rubbish coming soon.